if you were to have any ideas about the subsuming of the Republican Party into the fascist Christian Party, regardless of how many times I rant and scream and use my foul mouth to try to point it out, if you have any doubts left, action taken by the Republican National Committee today should convince you completely that there is only one party, the Democratic Party, in a position of governance in this country now that is the least bit concerned with democracy. The Christian Fascist Party has become the party of Trump. It is a cult. It is destructive. It will destroy as much as it can while it's out of power all the trappings of democracy, and once it reassumes power, the slaughter will begin wholesale. So, I would hope that what we've been talking about on this podcast since forever has really taken with the people who listen to this podcast. Now, I realize to, to a great degree I'm, what's the expression, preaching to the choir, but um, look, the Republican National Committee today voted to condemn, you like that word? Condemn Representatives Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, the two Republican members of the House Committee investigating what this filthy son of a bitch Trump did on January 6th. Um, the censure resolution passed overwhelmingly, according to reports, on a voice vote with no debate, no discussion. This was not like, all right, let's hear what you have to say to condemn them. Okay, let's hear what you have to say to, uh, uh, to not condemn them. No. It was just when the RNC met in Salt Lake City earlier today, it was just brought up almost immediately. Voice vote overwhelming to condemn the only two Republican senators who are willing to participate in this investigation. Um, the resolution said, and I'm getting a lot of this from the Washington Post, that uh, the behavior of Cheney and Kissinger, quote, has been destructive to the institution of the U.S. House of Representatives, the Republican Party, and our republic. End quote. Now, these two representatives were among the group that voted to impeach this filthy bastard after the insurrection on January 6th of 2021. But... L listen to what the Republican National Committee said in their resolution that Cheney and Kinzinger have been destructive to the Republic, to the United States, because they voted to remove somebody who tried to overthrow the government. And they're now involved in an investigation of how and why that took place. And for that reason, this cult that still uses the, uh, the name of the Republican Party, the fascist Christians, voted to censure these two representatives for following their oath. This is really some serious stuff. I, I realize there's a lot of things going on that nibble and grab and snatch at our attention. But folks, if, if, if we don't prevent this from moving forward, then our republic is finished. And that's not hyperbolic talk on my part. That's not scare tactics. That's not anything except the truth. You know this. You know this. Um, and in addition to the formal censure 
at the when when this vote occurred in in Salt Lake City, the Republican National Committee also made plans to provide all the money necessary to challenge Cheney in Wyoming. Kinsinger has said this is his last uh, term in the House. He's leaving. And this came after Republican leaders in Wyoming passed a special rule to recognize her challenger as the party's presumptive nominee, even though not a single vote has been cast in the primary. But that's what these son of a bitches have decided. The fascist Christians. God damn you people. I, I, I mean, seriously. I hope your punitive, vicious God just burns your asses in your particular hell for the eternity that you prescribe for everybody else. You son of a bitch is you. This is, this is, this is unbelievable stuff. And then that horrible woman, Ronna McDaniel, who's the chairperson of the Republican National Committee, defended that vote in an interview with the Washington Post. She said, quote, now listen to this. This is the head of the fascist Christians. She said, quote, we've had two members engage in a Democrat-led persecution of ordinary citizens who engaged in legitimate political discourse. A violent riot that left five people dead is considered by the fascist Christians to be, what does she say, legitimate political discourse. Of course they do. These bloody son of a bitches, this is the foundation of fascist Christianity. Here it is. And then this bitch, Ronna McDaniel, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I cannot even conceive of these people as, as having anything within them that would be identified as, as ethics, morality, honesty, decency. But then she said, quote, this has gone beyond their original intent. They are not sticking up for hardworking Republicans. Oh, isn't that sweet? Throw in hardworking Republicans. Try, you sick bitch, to, to use these two Republican representatives uh, in, in, in a manner that says that they are beating up on, what's your term, hardworking Republicans? God damn these people. A representative for Liz Cheney said that what the RNC did was a bad move. And that representative reiterated Cheney's statement that she made last week that said Republicans are now held hostage to former President Orange Vomit. Um, I would disagree with that. They're not being held hostage. They are, they are fully involved. They are willingly involved in the destruction of democracy in this country. Look, this has been a long time coming. We've talked about this over and over. I've talked about it for 30 goddamn years. This has been a long time coming, and, and it arrived in the persona of Donald Trump. So in this cult, former Republican Party that continues to, to cluster around Trump. Cheney and Kinsinger have, have stood out as among the few congressional Republicans to criticize, uh, criticize what this son of a bitch did. And then sneaking in the back door and joining them today was Senator Mittens Romney, who criticized the actions of the RNC in a tweet Oh, mitts. Oh, mittens. Oh, my goodness. Did you really? You tweeted it. What a brave thing to do. This is what his tweet said. Quote, shame falls on a party that would censure persons of conscience who seek truth in the face of vitriol. Honor attaches to Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger for seeking truth, even when doing so comes at great personal cost. End quote. Mittens, well, you hypocritical prick, you. Why don't you stand out, Mitt? Why don't you join them? Where was your vote for impeachment, huh? Or for conviction? You hypocritical prick, don't, don't even start. 
with your holier-than-thou shame falls on a party that would censure persons of conscience. Apparently, you don't have any, Mitt. So shut the fuck up, all right? Go pray someplace. Man. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.